Should teachers still worry about students who chew gum? What should teachers do about those students whose cell phones ring in class? How should teachers react when they hear students using offensive language? These are just few questions regarding effective classroom management. And to be a and to be a competent teacher, one should be one should also be an effective classroom manager. I am your host, Zari Guarte, and welcome to our show, The Teaching Professional. Today, we will be addressing those questions with a seasoned teacher and a group of future educators that are enrolled in SDS as you can tell on campus. So, classroom is a complex interaction of students, teachers, and learning materials. A competent teacher should have the skills in managing instruction, classroom environment, time, and discipline in order to impart knowledge and skills to students. Now let us call our first guest, Ms. Krisha Joy Arienza. Hello, Ms. Arienza. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, Cesar. How are you? Um, it's good to see you again. Thank you for inviting me here. And of course, hello everyone. I am Krisha Arienza. I am an English teacher from Surigao del Sur State University, Cantilan Campus. I know you're busy and thank you for letting us interview you for this show. Now let's go straight to the question. What tips can you give for teachers or aspiring teachers in order to manage their classrooms well? Yes, um, even an eligible teacher may fail in teaching due to inability to work effectively with the students. Students may like talk aloud or walk around the classroom aimlessly um, even during the class hour. So today, I will give you some tips in order to manage your classroom really well. So the first tip is you should set rules and procedures that students are expected to follow. In order to do that, um, you as a teacher must communicate clearly the rules, which means um, entails a clear discussion of every rules and its rationale. So class rules, procedure, and notice of upcoming events should be posted in a convenient place of your classroom to help students stay on track. Second, let your students actively engage in the pursuit of knowledge. So you as a teacher here should provide variety of interesting activities that encourage thought and discovery. You must allow your students to do more talking than you as a teacher in a classroom learning experiences. The third tip is lead your students to take responsibility for their learning. Meaning to say, you as a teacher should guide your students as they work to achieve their academic and behavioral goals that they themselves establish. Successful teachers employ a variety of strategies to promote responsible decision-making and create a self-reliant student. So the last tip would be respect everyone. We should bear in mind that teachers and students treat each other with obvious respect. We should teach our students to respect each other's unique contribution to the class as well as appropriate way or ways to resolve conflict. So we should ensure that there is a sense of togetherness and steadfast courtesy in our classroom. Thank you, Ms. Argensa, for your tips. I hope that our viewers, especially the future educators out there, will apply those tips in their classrooms. Thank you. Now let us welcome our first future educator, Ms. Christy Jean Hubach. Hello, Ms. Christy Jean. How are you today? Hi, of course, it is my pleasure to be your guest here for today. So I have prepared questions for you. Are you ready? Yes, so let's start. Okay. As a future educator, what are the classroom management techniques that you have learned so far? As a future teacher, there are lots of techniques in classroom management. And I will give you two techniques that can be used in, in managing a classroom. So first is management of instruction. Management of instruction 
refers to the smooth flow of instructional processes. Smoothness involves circulating by facilitating students' cooperation and discussion as they work in a small groups. First, maintain smoothness of instruction and avoid jarring breaks. Second, maintain transition from one activity to another, from subject or from lesson to recess, and give clear signals. Third, maintain group focus so that all the students in the class stay involved in the lesson even if the teacher calls only one student. Fourth, maintain group focus during set work by circulating to see how they are doing. Fifth, develop witness and be aware of students' behavior at all times. Lastly, develop overlapping skills and be prepared for all scenarios in the classroom. The second technique is management of discipline. Management of discipline, this refers to the means of preventing misbehavior from occurring or the manner of responding to the behavioral problems in order to reduce their recurrence in the future. First, start the year right with a specific plan for students for introducing classroom rules. Second, Set few class rules for students to follow. Third, create an atmosphere where there is respect to one another. Fourth, apply principle for least intervention for routine classroom behavior problem. Create varied interesting lessons to make students pay attention to class discussion and students do not engage in activities that disrupts discussion. Fifth, manage behavior problems through applied behavior analysis. Sixth, prevent serious behavior problems and remove the causes of misbehavior. Lastly, formally develop the desired behavior by teaching the behavior. I think that's all. So I hope you learned something from me. Thank you for that, Miss Christy. You got that, my dear viewers, right? I hope that you have learned some techniques for classroom management. And I hope that you are still ready for more because our next future educator has just arrived. Please welcome Miss Marcian Arpilieda. Hello, Miss Arpilieda. Welcome to our program. Of course, it's my pleasure to be part of this program. Nice to hear that. Let's go straight to our questions, okay? Okay, as a future educator, what are the classroom management techniques that you have learned so far? As a future teacher, there are, there's a lot of techniques in classroom management. So, I will give you two techniques in managing a classroom. So, first is management of relationship, which it refers to emotional climate and communication affecting learning condition. So management of relationship has four steps. So first step is maintain climate, uh, cli positive climate characteristics, which allows students to choose a variety of activities to achieve common goals. Second, develop sense of interdependence, common bands, defined group expectation, and relationship qualities that enhance wholesome uh, emotional climate. Third, develop communication characteristics that promote um, wholesome classroom relationship like positive constructive conversation uh, aimed to under at understanding on another's point of view. Lastly, render different forms of assistance by providing class meetings or students to have an opportunity to examine the ideas and feelings that influence value judgment. The second technique is the management of physical environment, so which it refers to the organization of learning environment, supplies, and materials. 
Management of physical environment has seven stages. So first is organize supplies and materials for activities that occur frequently in most readily available accessible place and must be or governed by the simplest procedure. Second, rules must go with territory and insist on respect for them. Expectations regarding beginning and end of the class behavior must be clearly expressed. Third, avoid interruption during class hour. Fourth, arrange the physical sitting and maximize visibility and accessibility. Student desks are separated in rows facing toward the chalkboard and away from the window. Fifth, materials and equipment stations are available in sufficient quantities and are located to minimize congestion in traffic lanes. Six bulletin boards and wall space are used to display student work and complement current class activities. Lastly, set explicit procedures for getting materials from and returning them to designated classroom location. I think that's all, so I hope you've learned something from me and for the techniques and steps that I've shared to you. Thank you for that, Ms. Arpilleda. I hope that your words will reach the minds and hearts of our viewers. Now let us welcome our last future educator for today, Ms. Jillian Sembahan. Hello, Ms. Jillian. Thank you for being here today. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to be part of this program. So I have prepared a couple of questions for you. I hope you are ready. Yes, I'm ready. That's good. So here it is. My research here showed some results about classroom management of time and routines. How will you employ these techniques in your classrooms? First is organize the day by priorities, strategically plan homework assignments, avoid loaded procrastination, plan for potential crisis, and sit aside personal time. So, Ms. Simbahon, why is it important to have classroom routines? Routines allow students to quickly accomplish day-to-day -day tasks that are required to both teacher and students. What is the importance of time and routine in a classroom? Routines don't just make your life easier. They save valuable classroom time. And what's most important, efficient routines make it easier for students to learn and achieve more. As children start trickling into the classroom, they need to know exactly what to do. Thank you, Ms. Chilean. Classroom management is the business of getting students to do what teachers want them to do. If the teacher is good at it, a lot of things get done and students enjoy coming to class. Even though educators may not always be in agreement about the exact definition of a well-disciplined classroom, most of them certainly know when things are not going well. So I hope for the teachers and aspiring teachers have learned the techniques in classroom management that needs to be employed to have a well-disciplined class. That's all for today. Once again, I'm your host, Zar Guarte, and this is The Teacher Profile.